Well, India has uh, called off the launch of its second lunar mission, Glenda, and that was less than an hour before taking off, uh, effectively putting on hold its hopes of being the first to land on the south pole of the moon. A technical snag was observed in the launch vehicle system at T minus 56 minutes. As a measure of abundant precaution, Chandrayaan 2 launch has been called off for today. Revised launch date will be announced later. Officials at the Space Center said the problem was in the launch vehicle system. The Chandrayaan is India's Chandrayaan 2 is India's second lunar mission and costs some 150 million dollars. It aims to gather data on water, minerals and rock formations on the moon. Now one expert explains why India feels like they have to get their foot in the game here. I don't think it, the, this delay is too much of a launch. I think it is a, it's a complicated launch, as I said. They're requiring their, their big rockets, so this is their GSLV. Um, so this is the one that takes them to the highest possible orbits. Um, so I think what we've seen is that they've been playing it safe. Obviously, you want to make sure all your checks and the fueling are happening. And so I think what we'll see is that they'll probably announce a new launch date you know, in the next day or so. Um, hopefully, it's not too big of a setback. But I think this is just trying to show that India really is becoming quite a big space power. Sometimes we don't hear about them as much, but they have big ambitions and big goals, and they're going to see it through. There is a bit of nationalistic pride, and they've already announced kind of there is a bit of they want to put, you know, an Indian in space on their own rocket. Um, they're quick to see, as other countries are, the technological spin-offs of this. Um, there's also a bit of strategy here. One of the reasons people are looking at the South Pole is this is where even NASA has announced that they want to build a future moon base to get to Mars. Um, and part of the mission, as you said, is to look for water and ice, which people think is going to be needed to refuel, such as we can use rock ice to turn into rocket fuel on the moon. So if everyone's going to get to Mars, we need to use the south pole of the moon as a landing base. India wants to establish itself as a foothold and put itself straight in the middle of this essentially Mars race. Just as you know, NASA has been quite open. They wanted to get to Mars. That timeline is 2030, 2040. And I think this is why we're seeing China landing on the far side of the moon earlier this year uh, and India getting by is th that really is the goal. And that if we're all going to have a space presence and if space is going to be more accessible, it, essentially it's the moon. The moon, because of its very little gravity and very little atmosphere, means it's able easier to take off and on on. Um, there's a lot of science to learn, but it's also all about resources. If you can get your hands on resources, that's going to secure your future in space.